Shame, Shame that, that tune. tune! Whoa, Miss Cosby. She's new here. Yeah, she's new here. She is new here. Please, okay. Are you alright, Miss Cosby? Okay, she's fine. She's okay. Thank you for sharing your shameful tale of international intrigue and marijuana fuel to DSC. You're welcome. There's a folk tale in which the singer laments, oh, how I miss the green, green grass of home. Now, Josh, while held up in that Turkish prison of a Canadian border town police station, was there ever a moment when you thought to yourself, wow, I am stoned to the bone? Answer the question, Josh Sigourney. Uh, for the first three minutes, and then it all went away, <laughs> and it became blazingly real that I wasn't going to be high anymore, and there was no hope. <laughs> Was there ever a moment you were living that third world nightmare that you thought, my God, I may never see the United States of America ever again? Uh, we, uh, many times, actually. Uh, and I, never, I didn't want to because I didn't want anyone to know where I'd been. <laughs> you couldn't have a honeymoon at Niagara Falls like everybody else. Couldn't ride down a barrel like everybody else. No, Josh, you had to abuse drugs. Drug addicts often hit rock bottom. Was this your rock bottom getting so high you thought it would be fun to go to Canada, Josh? Answer the question. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that pretty much answers itself. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no, not really. It's, it got progressively worse from there. But uh, it's fine. Yeah, we do. I learned my lesson. Good. I'm never going to Canada again. That's right. Good. You weren't, you weren't allowed back for two years. Two years. That's... How can one achieve that ideal? I mean, maybe we should all do some bong hits halfway across the Ambassador Bridge and try to cure our munchies with some Tim Hortons and poutine. Um, what a harsh sentence, Josh. Did you plead with the police chief saying, like, come on, can't we make it five years, or ten years, life? Uh, I actually remember just being really cranky. And just being like, what? Fine. Whatever. <laughs> Getting so high you ended up in Canada, I can now understand why you became a uh, puppeteer. Um, not to imply that drugs had anything to do with it, but you work with the one uh, Chad the Bird, a yeah. show uh, held each Saturday called the... Uh, yes, uh, got some fans of Chad has. Um, Thank you, Mom. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Jeff's Mom. Um, uh, the paper machete at a bar in Uptown called the Gurney Mill. Um, I met Chad the Bird back in October. I met him back in October. I found him to be a most delightful uh, conversationalist, uh, raconteur, and uh, insightful commentator on current events here in uh, Chicagoland. Uh, tell everybody about Chad the Bird and what's on his mind lately with the news of the day here in our city. Uh, Chad the Bird's uh, from Laguna Beach. He's a pink bird. Uh, he loves Led Zeppelin and you if you like to party. Oh, yeah. uh, I think we said that earlier. Uh, and uh, right now, he's really obsessed with the fact that America is uh, in a bracket for soccer, and it's a pretty nasty bracket if you guys follow soccer. Oh, wait, no, you don't? Okay, so that's fine. <laughs> wait, 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 I heard it. Okay. Right? It sucks right now, right? Talk to this guy, seriously, it sucks right now. Who, who are they playing in the bracket? Uh, Portugal, Germany, and Ghana. Jesus. Ghana. They are tough. Don't, don't think they're tough. The, uh, Ga the Ghanaian uh, juggernaut. <laughs> Is that a, that's I think that's the team name. That's, <laughs> <laughs> so that's on his mind. And um, that's every Saturday uh, at the Green Mill. Uh, sure. what, what time? Uh, Three o'clock, and it's o free, and you can drink during the day, so come do it. I mean, you can anyway, but you can do it in public. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a great time. Uh, you guys should definitely check it out, if some of you have. Um, Josh, thank you for sharing your uh, shit with us tonight. Uh, Josh, good morning, everybody.